This is just a quick video uh, that I wish I didn't have to make. Uh, this is about an incident that literally just happened to me at the shooting range. Um, I went to my local range with my wife like we sometimes do on Sundays and uh, I was shooting my Rock Island Armory 9mm and uh, she was shooting one of our Glock 19s and uh, everything was going just great and uh, as I was sitting there in between reloads the guns were actually exactly in this position um, I got a sharp pain in my mouth and I reached down and not to be disgusting here but uh, I said what the heck and there was this blood coming out of my mouth and what had happened was and the purpose of this video is to really just reinforce the safety issues that you have to follow when you're at a range and it turned out a person who was shooting three bays down from me had some crazy superpower uh, hand loads that he made and a piece of shrapnel came flying back at me and hit me in my top lip and my tooth. I'm not going to show you because it looks kind of disgusting. Uh, but um, I'll tell you what, it wasn't fun. Uh, my, my biggest thing was that it didn't hit my wife because then, then I might have switched modes and gone into a very dark place. So, uh, uh, um, you know, but it hit me. So, you know, I'm, I'm a big boy. I understand, you know, stuff happens at shooting ranges. But so after I went to the bathroom and blotted my mouth off and this and that, we proceeded to shoot again. And I wish I had the piece, but the range officer kept it. The guy next to my wife, wonderful guy, was shooting a beautiful uh, 22 uh, competition pistol. And as I'm looking at him, I see something fly right past his head. And when I tell you, it was a piece of shrapnel this big. And it landed behind him on the bay. And at that point, I said, what the heck is going on here? And that's when I realized that it was the guy, like I said, a couple of bays down. And he was shooting, uh, it looked like a 44 Magnum revolver. And uh, but he had made these hand loads and they were non jacketed, so they were just lead. And uh, at first, um, the range officer came in and thought that someone had hit a carrier because where we shoot, you're supposed to shoot at 50 feet. Sometimes they let you bring it in to like 30 feet, but that's the closest that we're allowed to shoot at. And uh, he originally thought it was a carrier, which I, I could understand that. If you hit if you hit the triangular carrier a certain way, a piece of shrapnel uh, from a bullet can bounce back. But the carriers were all out at 50 feet. So it turned out what the guy was doing was being a little foolish, quite frankly. And he was shooting really low and he was hitting the concrete floor and then the round was hitting the floor, bouncing up against the backstop, sort of breaking up and then flying back down at us people on the line. So uh, I really went there because I wanted to retest. I just got another batch of these Freedom Ammunitions, uh, Freedom Munitions 9mm. I get these all the time. I love them. They're, they're, I think they're like $10 for 50 and you get free shipping if you order over a hundred or something, or 200, I don't know what it is, but you get free shipping if you order a bunch. And um, they work just fantastic. Um, I highly recommend them. And that's really what I was trying to do today to just test out these. But really, this is quick, is the purpose is, I was wearing these glasses, which are really good um, prescription shooting glasses. They're, they're clear on the bottom and then they have my, um, my uh, prescription lens on the top and uh, but you know if if it would have hit my eye or you know every once in a while you see guys not wear shooting glasses or just wear their regular eyeglasses and sometimes they're made of actual glass um, I guarantee if the piece that hit me in the lip um, if it, if it would have hit me in the eye uh, you know I might be blind or, or you know have a, have a serious problem and again, uh, you know, don't want to be disgusting, but this is just a little remnants of it. There was a lot more blood that came out. 
And I'm, I'm not blaming anyone. Uh, I, I mean, accidents happen. We're shooting guns. Uh, you know, we're big boys and big girls. We're shooting, and we, we know it's not a toy. And uh, But let me throw this out. But the point of the matter is uh, you got to watch when you're at the gun range. I mean, you know, they say the more you do something, the more of uh, the odds of an accident increasing. So I guess if you fly every day or you drive every day or shoot guns as much as I do, sometimes three times a week, you know, I, I'm constantly running into uh, issues, and I, I made, I don't know, one or two range videos, but I don't want to seem like a person that's complaining all the time. All I'm saying is make sure you wear your glasses and uh, be aware of your surroundings at the range. And people that uh, that overpower their, their hand loads, um, you know, go shoot them in an open field or something. Don't take it to an indoor shooting range where uh, this could happen. And, and certainly... You know, if, you, if you're not good enough to shoot uh, and hit your target, uh, don't hit the ground. I mean, you know, for all the shooting I do, I, I'm not a marksman. I mean, this is at 50 feet here, so a little low. They were all on the target. A couple of bullseyes in there with the 9mm, but, you know, a couple of flyers here and there. And it's just not my, uh, I'm, not, I'm not a great marksman. I'm, I'm a, I'm, I think I'm a pretty good shot. And... I'm positive in a self-defense situation, which, uh, whatever, uh, I could, you know, hit what I needed to do. But, uh, you know, I, I, I don't hit the floor, though. I mean, I, yeah, I've seen some people hit the ceiling at a, at a gun range, and I see people hit the floor. Quite frankly, my opinion is that their permit should be taken away or certainly written down at the gun range, and they should be told to never come back again. And uh, that's it. So really, it's just a warning video. Make sure you wear decent shooting glasses and, uh, you know, they should be, they don't even have to be expensive. You can go to a Dix or something like that. But, you know, look for really good polycarbonate lenses. And uh, because if that shrapnel would have hit me in, in the eye, uh, it would have been a problem. And the second piece, I wish they would have let me keep it. I'm telling you, it was that big. And that came flying by the guy who was in the bay next to my wife. So two bays to the left of me. And... Uh, if that would have hit someone in the head, I don't know if it would have killed him, um, it, it, but it would have uh, it would it would have done some serious damage. And again, if it would have hit my wife, then that guy would have had some major damage done to him. So that's what I'm mostly concerned about, that she's fine. Anyway, quick video. Be careful when you go to the shooting range. That's it. All right. Take care, guys.